Fiber tape surclage is a radio-translucent suture that eliminates the need for metal cables and wires for fracture closure without sacrificing the strength or security of the repair. A blunt needle can be used to pass the surclage suture around the fracture site. The surclage suture tail is loaded into the eyelet of the needle and then is passed around the bone. Once the needle is fully passed, you remove the fiber tape tail from the needle and load it into the suture shuttle loop that is attached to the needle to facilitate a second pass around the bone. If preferred, there is a passing hook that could also be used to facilitate the passing of the surclage suture. The hook is placed around the bone. Then the fiber tape surclage suture tail is loaded into the eyelet of the hook along with a fiber link suture. The hook is pulled back around the bone and the sutures are unloaded from the eyelet. Next, the tail of the fiber tape suture is loaded into the fiber link loop to complete the second pass around the bone. Once the fiber tape surclage suture is passed, shuttle the fiber tape suture tails through the pre-tied knot on the loader. Place approximately 2 cm to 3 cm of the fiber tape suture tails into the nitinol loop attached to the loader. Separate the two tabs of the loader, pulling the nitinol loop and the fiber tape suture tails through the knot. Once the tails are through the knot, uncleat the remaining suture and remove the knot from the loader. The suture should then be hand tightened around the bone. The suture swedge is then cut to separate the two tails of the fiber tape suture. The suture limbs are loaded through the two holes at the tip of the tensioner and then loaded into the slot of the roller adjacent to the handle. The suture is then tensioned to the desired tension. The tensioner is pulled back and a half hitch is added. Again, the suture is loaded into the tensioner and the half hitch is tensioned to the desired tension to lock down the repair. Two alternating half hitches are then added by hand and the suture tails are cut, completing the surclage suture placement. Additional surclage sutures can be added depending on the size of the fracture.